It's time for me to bug out soon, guys. I'm getting ready to go. I'm give you an update on what's going on here. But in this video, I wanted to give you the cons of my bug out moto van build, also known as a camper van toy hauler that I built myself, which I did a full review on this build. If you want to see the full review, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. I also did a full build series on this van. So if you want to build a similar setup, uh, I have a link to that build van video playlist in the description and comment section of this video as well. Before I give you the cons of my van setup, which may help you with your van build, that's the reason why I'm doing this video, I wanted to give you a brief overview of my van setup so you know what it's about. I built this van specifically for my motorcycle so that I can live in the van with my motorcycle and keep the motorcycle safe with me so nobody will steal it or tamper with it. Because I know some of you guys said, why don't you just put a motorcycle on the back of the van? Yeah, and somebody will steal it or tamper with it. So no, I want the motorcycle with me. This is a fold-up van here which allows me to bring the motorcycle in and I parked the motorcycle where the passenger seat is I removed the passenger seat put them I put the motorcycle there boy the cops came man <laughs> let's go for a ride you are watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. I call myself being discreet out here but apparently somebody called the police on me here because I'm looking shady with my, my white cargo van. <laughs> Every time the police come, I got to do a full review of the van, man, because they're so fascinated by my setup. But anyways, just giving you a brief overview, this bed folds up, which allows me to park my motorcycle where the passenger seat used to be. And I encase the motorcycle in a cover that completely covers the motorcycle and it keeps the motorcycle from stinking up the van. And I have storage stuff here. This is a tool strip. This is a 20 amp uh, solar controller for this 155 amp hour uh, battery battery here that's AGM and I have another 40 amp uh, solar controller here for these two 155 amp hour AGM batteries uh, this is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter this is where I store my clothes on these hooks this is where I put my 15 inch MacBook Pro that protects it here um, I have a 10 inch uh, subwoofer here that's powered by has a built-in amp um, I got custom stereo box uh, speakers here um, this is a custom cabinet here that I built as you can see here uh, which this has lighting here this has lighting here so I can see in there pretty good as you see there I have storage boxes here um, stereo here I have two uh, fuse boxes here and these are one for each solar system this is where I put my pots and pans can of butane this is a butane burner here a cooktop I love it this is an ARB refrigerator as you can see it has great storage in there I also have a freezer right here a uh, dual fan here I have two uh, exhaust vents here um, one brings in air and one exhaust air out of the van soap and lotion dispenser here this is a weather station here that controls and shows me the temperature in the refrigerator and the freezer this is a sink here and the wastewater goes out below the van and you open this door here and this brings out the shower head here and uh, I made this custom made here so that it holds holds a shower head um, that's a magnet I have a water pump here where I have the switch right here I switch that on and water comes out here so I can wash up at the sink or I can pull this off and take a shower in back of the van and I have a, a six gallon water tank there that is solar power heated I have 500 uh, over 500 watts of solar power on the roof um, I do have another uh, this is a five gallon container of water with a water pump I do have lights underneath here so it makes it easier to see uh, pull stuff out of here also I have a uh, six gallon water container here this is for my backup water supply so I have a fold-out TV here where I can watch all the local channels 
let me see here I cut on the inverter here which is awesome I don't have to crawl underneath the bed to turn that on and I have cameras all around the vehicle um, because I don't have windows in here so this allows me to see what's going on around the van also have uh, custom-made screens here that go on via velcro I don't know if you can see there this attaches via velcro here so I have one for the side door and one for the rear and this allows me to have cross ventilation without any bugs coming in uh, awning that uh, unfolds it's right here along the back side and I've got a bunch of other things with this van guys I was just doing a brief overview to let you see but if you want to see the full review that I did on this van like I said I have the video link in the description and comment section of this video now I'll tell you as far as cons with my setup um, what I don't like is uh, first con would be the roof height I know a lot of you guys have asked me psycho cruiser you know why didn't you go with the taller roof height um, Honestly, there's only two choices of vans with a taller roof height, and that's the Ford Transit and the Mercedes Sprinter. And I don't like either, really like either one of those vans, guys. Um, the Fords, I've had bad luck with Fords in the past. They tend to rust out. Um, people were telling me that the, the drive shaft went bad on their Ford Transit and other problems. And as far as the Mercedes Sprinter, you know, they're not the most reliable vans. And, uh, and you know, the old ones were really reliable, but these new ones I hear have problems. And, you know, it's really expensive for Mercedes parts. So, uh, honestly, the Chevy Express van, these things are tried and true. But with this low roof height van, it's not that big of a deal, though, because I do have this special carpet, which, by the way, is perfectly cut for this van and the Ford Account line vans it has a rubber backing on the bottom that allows you to walk comfortably on your knees see that very comfortable on your knees and I'm six foot tall and it's not that big of a deal uh, at all so if you want to get this by the way if you want to get this special flooring which insulates the floor as well um, like I said links to all of my build stuff at cyclecruiser.com click on my van stuff uh, another con is um, the AGM batteries that I have it's old technology you only can use like 50% of the capacity as where the lithium batteries you know you can use much more of the capacity um, that's why I've ordered uh, two 100 amp hour lithium batteries which I'll include links to in the description and comment section of this video they're really expensive the only drawback to those batteries is they won't accept a charge um, below like 25 20 25 degrees so that's why I'm keeping one of my AGM batteries you know another con is I can't put an air conditioner in here because of the low roof height because it protrudes down so much so uh, some people put the air conditioner in the back window portion here, um, but it just looks ghetto and I want to keep my van looking stealth. Another con I have with this setup is that I can't put a fantastic fan in my van like a lot of you guys do with your RVs and camper vans, um, which brings a nice amount of air in the van. I do have two vents there, but they don't bring, you know, the one brings in air and the other one you know, exhausts air. Um, but it doesn't bring in that much air, you know, that's why I have those two fans, which are okay But I wish I could put a fantastic fan in here But I can't because like I said it, it protrudes down too much and it'll prevent me from bringing my bike in here Otherwise, I love this setup you know, if I hit the road full-time For a year which I thought about doing um, I might get an Airstream trailer or something uh, I don't know. We'll see um, but um, as far as to give you an update on my next bug out van trip, I'm waiting for the lithium ion battery. As soon as I get those batteries, um, I'll be hitting the road. Um, I'm heading down to North Carolina mountains because um, I'm looking for some property down there. There's, I'm working with a realtor and she's going to show me some properties down there, anywhere from 5 to 30 acres with a house uh, with a nice mountain view. Uh, that was my dream. So hopefully I can fulfill that. Like I said, I'm going to take you on the trip down there. We're going to do some moto vlogs. I'm um, going to have some fun down there. So hopefully it all works out okay. Hopefully it doesn't rain me out because it rains a lot down there from what I hear. Um, but hey, guys, leave a comment below. You know, ask me any other questions you might have. Um, but otherwise, I say this this build is pretty solid. It's, it's worked for me, and I look forward to taking another trip. Don't forget to subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel and also check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. <laughs>